Hello gang, welcome back to Mark's 60 plus fitness journey. Today what I want to do is expand a little bit more on my previous video, which I will link up here in the corner and down in the description. That video um, was um, my explanation of why I'm moving from two workouts a day to one workout a day. Effectively, um, I was burning myself out. It was, it was a little too much to fit into my schedule as it is right now, and I think it was counterproductive. So I'm going to one workout a day, and all part and parcel of that is, I think the reason I was doing two workouts a day initially was just to burn the calories up, the excess calories that I was eating, just simply because I like to eat. So my plan is to get a handle on my caloric intake dur during a day, find out what my baseline caloric intake requirements are, my basal metabolic rate. I'm gonna show you how I calculated that and what that value is and what that means. So I'm going to take those numbers and use that to formulate my daily diet, my daily caloric intake. Initially what I'm gonna do is do this for four weeks. For four weeks I'm going to go into a calorie deficit of about 500 calories and I'll explain that further in a minute. And what that's going to do is hopefully take off four or five pounds of fat that I have accumulated recently that I want to get off because I can feel it and it's uncomfortable. So I've calculated what I need to do to do that. And I'll show you how I did it and give you those values and what they mean and how that all correlates into my diet. I'll give you an example of today's diet and what I ate today and how that all fits into the caloric intake numbers that I need to meet to meet my goal. So after all that, let me show you what I did and then we'll check back in here in a minute to tie it all together. Okay, so the first thing I did, I needed to figure out what my baseline caloric intake is for a given day for a 61 year old man that weighs 177 pounds, is five foot eight, inches tall and very active. So I went online and found me a basal metabolic rate BMR calculator and plugged in these numbers across a couple of these. Actually, I did three and they all came up to about 2,700 calories a day. So now I have my baseline caloric intake per day to maintain. Now I want to figure out how many calories or what how many calories a day I need to be in deficit to lose one pound of fat per week. So effectively 3,500 calories equals one pound. So if I divide 3,500 calories by seven days that gives me 500 calories a day I need to re remove from my diet a deficit to lose one pound per week. So now to calculate what my daily requirements, calorie requirements per day would be to be in a 500 calorie a day deficit, I just subtract 500 calories from my 2700 baseline metabolic rate and that gives me 2200 calories a day as my goal to lose one pound per week. Okay, so now I know that 2,200 calories per day is my goal to lose one pound per week. So let me show you what I did today to um, attempt to meet that 2,200 calorie goal. So this morning, first thing, got up at 4.30, got ready to go to the gym, and the first thing I had was a protein and MCT oil shake. And that is a total of 250 calories. We'll call this next one meal two. Um, when I got back from the gym at about 6.30, I had four eggs with ghee, which is clarified butter, at 315 calories, and four slices of bacon at 180 calories. Okay, next for lunch at 10.30 a.m., which is a little early, I'll grant you, I had um, a salmon salad. I used canned salmon 
and I used a whole can and 325 calories and made a salad out of that with one tablespoon of avocado mayo at 110 calories with 10 Brussels sprouts at 70 calories. And next, this was just a treat for me. I had a snack at 1.30, and this was a keto bar I have. It's a brand. I can tell you what brand that is if you, if you want to know, but I, I can't remember the name of it. Anyway, the keto bar was 220 calories. And then dinner, or supper, at 5 p.m. What I had there was a half pound of ground beef at 480 calories. That's grass-fed ground beef and two cups of broccoli that is about 50 calories. That was a very filling dinner, by the way. And I finish up the whole day with an evening snack at 7 p.m. or so, and basically that was just another protein MCT oil shake at 250 calories, which brings me about 50 calories over my 2200 goal, which is okay. So 2,250 calorie day, and believe it or not, I was not hungry really at all during the day. So there it is. That is my plan to first lose four or five pounds of body fat, not lean tissue, but body fat in the next four weeks, and give me an idea of what my baseline caloric intake is on a given day to maintain my body weight and my muscle mass. So if you have any questions about that or any concerns or ideas or differing viewpoints, please let us know, leave a comment and we'll talk about it. Um, if it was helpful at all, uh, please let me know that too. And uh, if so, please hit that like button please hit the subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you know when my videos are out. And as always, thank you so much for being here. I do, I do so appreciate it because I enjoy, I enjoy doing this. I enjoy bringing this content to you. So until next time, go get them. Mark out.